Hey, hey, you guys. It's Fat Little Keto Goofball Diamond. I hope. <laughs> anyway, if you're new here, like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell. I take people on pretty much a daily journey of my ketogenic journey, telling you what I've done, how it's affected my body. Hello. Love you too. And trying to help as many people along the way as I possibly can. Because this has literally changed and saved my life. So, it's a pleasure to be able to help others if I can. So, if you need help, my contact information is below. I help everybody to just ask. Or visit KetoDiamond.com where you can find all the information. Plain, simple, free, written out. Alright, you guys. Another quick keto update right now. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto Diamond style. see I have come home from another fun-filled adventure of being gone from the house for 14 hours to do work <laughs> and literally plop down everything just just threw it down jumped in the shower today was one of those weird days um, it was nice and cool till about lunchtime went out for lunch not so cool anymore came back in it was like a sauna um, very very humid and I thought we wouldn't see no more 90s. We got to the 90s today, and it's not so much that we get to the 90s, it's so much that the building is 95 when it's in the 90, when it's 90. So, and then it was muggy and gross. I came home, my husband was picking on me, and I was like, don't touch me, I'm sweaty. And my daughter goes, you look kind of slimy, you're so sweaty. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go take a bath right now. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, ragweed season two so it's like allergies um i've got to find something to do at work i know that sounds crazy my job though is pretty much to stay in an isolated little area i can't go too far um without having somebody fill in for me i just like to even go to the bathroom or whatever so i mean i'm kind of in an isolated little area mostly by myself with very little to do other than stick a piece of foam on a conveyor belt as long as the machine is acting right the good news is and the bad news is the machine does not normally act right so as long as it doesn't act right I got a lot to do although that gets very frustrating because it's broken and it's irritating there's there's like five or six things that can go wrong with that machine and it just depends on which piece of foam I put in this one nothing might not happen this one two things happen this one five things happen this one nothing might not happen yeah, and so I'm like running back and forth up and down this little conveyor belt area um, with a thingy bob on this end and a thingy bob on this end that put out just an ungodly amount of heat. One of my things is like 200 degrees, the other is like, I think it's 500. Um, they're very, very hot. So being near them, <laughs> as long as it's like in the 70s, it's fine in there. It's fine. <laughs> 90, not, not so much. Uh, but I need I need something to do because like it, it's Will make your brain go numb standing there doing nothing half the time If you're not fighting with the machine, you're kind of falling asleep And you can't fall asleep because that slows things down so I need I Don't know. I was doing math today. I was so bored. I was doing math. Okay. <laughs> I Don't like math But I was so bored. I was doing math so, I'm literally writing times tables on phone. Jake's thirsty, apparently. Um, I, see, I really don't know what I can even do with me other than take crayons and coloring paper. I might actually do that. Uh, they might yell at me. I'm not sure. But it, it's literally, it's, it's a pretty mind-numbing little area. There, there's not a whole lot of thought that goes in it. You know, I need this size foam because we're going to be running this for a while. Or two or three sheets of this. 
my brain is like zoned out and I'm trying not to be zoned out. I want to expand and grow. But it's kind of hard when you're standing there for 12 hours doing nothing. Except for... Damn, it broke. Holy crap, that one worked. <laughs> um, yeah. I reckon he's thirsty. I understand I'm thirsty too. So keto wise, been doing great at work all weekend. Now my weight has fluctuated, but I've stayed on my feet for 12 hours. There, there's, I expect nothing else than my weight to fluctuate slightly, you know. It's usually within a pound over the work weekend. Um, I will say I felt, I, I felt a little fuggy lately. Like it's, it's, something's not exactly right. Forgive me. But something's a little bit off, you know, and I just like, I don't, I mean, I haven't done anything different. I haven't ate anything I shouldn't. I haven't been eating like junk or anything. What is this? And I realized I have kind of added two products that not really kind of. I drink coffee in the mornings. I take a big cup to work with me and I use coconut milk in my coffee. So this week, uh, Thursday to be precise, I found uh, pumpkin spice coffee. I used some of it last year. I don't think it bothered me any. Um, and then also, I got the same type and brand of coconut milk I always get. The only thing is I went to Foodline instead of Walmart because I prefer to support Foodline. Um, but they had the, the coconut milk I always get, same brand and everything, in a can. And I didn't really think the ingredients would be different. They are. And which I really need to look this up because I, I might be talking out my butt here. But it doesn't seem like you really need it. It's not in the carton, the little carton of coconut milk that I get at Wally World. Um, it's just coconut milk and water. That's it. Two ingredients. But the can, for some reason, they added xanthium gum. Now, I will get into it and do some research on it Monday. Because I'm not doing it tonight. Um, again, but we leave. We, I get up at 5. We leave at 6. We get home at 8. I'm usually in bed by 11. And I'm dead. I'm like, oh, don't mess with me. I can't. No. Uh, so, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is pretty much a, a no-go. I've got a few minutes that I'll, I'll, I'll throw up a video, and that's about it. <coughs> oh, cough. <clears throat> but I, I, I am aware of xanthium gum. I know this much about it. It's one of those ingredients I don't mess with much. But I do know that we have put xanthium gum in some like homemade fake keto french fries. And my stomach hurts a lot when I use that. So I'm wondering. And, and it doesn't make this can. You can't like poke a hole in the lid and just pour it out. You can't. I had to open the entire can, stir it, and then put it in a cup because I, I, it wouldn't pour into my coffee. And now I'm having to use like globs of tablespoons of it. So I, I don't think xanthium gum is for me. Um, I could be wrong. You know, uh, no, nah, I don't think it's for me. It just might not be a problem for anybody else. I don't really know. But again, I don't know why they put that in that can unless it's, it helps it somehow. But as far as I could tell, it just made it thick and clumpy and gross looking. Um, but I can't do anything about it until Monday because I don't have time during the weekend, you know, to go run to Walmart and get some coconut milk or anything. Um, so I'm just kind of stuck with it till Monday anyway. <sighs> that's, that's the news. I'd give you the, oh wait, I already gave you the weather. <laughs> Hot. That's what it is. I think it's going to be like 89 tomorrow. So of course it's shorts and tank tops. And I have to wear a sweatshirt on the way out the door because it's a little chilly out there in the mornings. Uh, but not by like 7.30, 8 o'clock. Not anymore. It gets a little bit muggy. I'm ready. I'm ready, you guys, for that little chilly weather. I, I need it to be 65 all day long. That way it's 75 in the building and I'm good. <laughs> oh, I guess it's time to end this. Oh, no, I didn't tell you my way in. I think I went down 0 0.4 pounds. Check this out. Um, Thursday morning, 171. Mm. It was lunch at work time, first thing I'm eating today. No, actually for breakfast I had two better with cheddars. 
All right, I've got a bell bowl, no beans, beef, no beans, sour cream, or rice. Extra chicken. I almost forgot to show you guys Dave's triple no bun on the way home from work. I just still a little hungry. Having ham, cheese, lettuce, mayonnaise, roll-ups, uh, a Clausen's pickle. I had pickles, pepperonis, and pork skins uh, with me for lunch today. Or for breaks. And she has Saturday morning, 170.6. So it's not bad. And again, it, that fluctuation within a pound or so um, during the work weekend is fine. And again, I know a lot of you are like, why don't you take your lunch? Because I'm tired and I'm not cooking. Yes, I can prep meals on Thursday for the entire weekend. But I can't eat most foods reheated at all. I can't stand the taste of them. To me, they have like a rot taste. So, I mean, if it's if it's cooked and it's preheated or heated later, so very few foods that I can eat that have been cooked before, you know? Um, chicken doesn't seem to bother me, but damn fine tower chicken. <laughs> or just plain chicken, anyway. Um, beef, I can't. Mm -mm. If that's reheated, I'm not touching it. I don't know what it is about beef, but it tastes decayed. Can't eat reheated beef. Steak's okay. Um, it's usually tougher, though. But being gone from the house 14 hours, getting home, barely having time, you know, to shower, eat something, and talk to you guys, I don't have time for cooking. And a lot of things I can't do in advance. Just can't stand the taste of them. Uh, I wish I could. That would make life a lot simpler, but... It's, mm -mm. Now, I could always eat cold pizza when I was younger. Of course, I don't eat pizza now, but you know what I mean? Um, as far as my keto day, you know, it went good. Uh, went down 0 0.4, which is it's pretty great on a work day. But I always kind of expect it to fluctuate up tomorrow. It's kind of like this little thing here. As long as I don't do nothing wrong, it's like, like I said, within a pound. But that standing on your feet those 12 hours, man, my feet are dead. They hurt worse. I, I, I'm glad I said that because I, I need to grab out my other steel toes. Um, I've got like three pair. I've got a pair that I wore for a year because they were old faithful that got to where they would dig into my toes. I've got another pair that I've been wearing. My feet hurt more in those. So I'm going to dig out the other pair that's just like the original pair that I wore out. Y'all didn't need to know all that, but play it for tomorrow anyway you guys i hope your keto journey is going great i hope whatever you're doing is going great i hope you read a little something today or did a little something today that gave you a new level of knowledge i hope every single day you and me both continue to grow uh spiritually mentally physically not positive growth <laughs> positive growth i hope we all achieve positive growth anyway you guys it, it, it's time for me to get this uploaded and go lay my butt down so I do that again tomorrow and I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance because Sunday nights I don't have a good track record of filming mostly because I get home I'm like oh it's over and I kick off my shoes and the next thing I know it's like four hours later so <laughs> yeah just in case I don't upload tomorrow that's why anyway guys and dolls much love many prayers good night